Not since the days of David Meller has a football shirt been so significant, but um, it turns out that uh, Matt Hancock has got a shirt which he auctioned for 1,800 odd pounds and uh, it was signed by the team, by the Newcastle United team or something, and, uh, and, and it was auctioned uh, and the person who bought it gave it back to him. And there's a photograph of Matt Hancock wearing it. In fact, Matt Hancock offered to sign it himself as well. It just seems very odd that Matt Hancock should auction a shirt and then take it back. Uh, sh surely the idea is you auction a shirt for charity and then you, and then maybe you get it given back, then you auction it again, you get more money for charity. But of course, Mr. Hancock has a very strange relationship with doing things for charity, as we found out when he did um, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here for Charity, to raise money and awareness for charity uh, for Matt Hancock. It's a very small part of the overall sum which is raised, which goes to charity, the rest goes to him. So it, I, maybe it makes no, um, it may, maybe it's no surprise that Matt Hancock ends up with the shirt. I'm going to I'm going to auction the shirt on my back and then I'll have it back and wear it and I can sign it for you. As for David Meller, uh, the infamous um, Chelsea shirt, I think it was, that he was wearing, apparently, according to Antonia de Sancha, many years later, 10 or 20 years later, she confessed that the whole thing was a, uh, was, was a ruse dreamt up by Max Clifford, the... PR man, and uh, and that the um, shirt wearing, and the toe sucking, and all these other bits and pieces that apparently David Mello got up to with her never went on at all. It never happened. Uh, the the affair happened, uh, but the um, the Chelsea strip was um, was 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 an invention, and uh, you know. It's, it's so extraordinary. Uh, so maybe, maybe the auction uh, was an invention. Maybe, I, mean, I don't know what do people want to invent now to uh, cash in on a sort of political scandal or to make themselves seem significant and slightly racy and slightly exciting. Ooh, Gina, look at my HB pencil. It's got a rubber on the end. Uh, I, I, frankly, frankly, the stationary cupboard Sounds perfectly reasonable to me. It's like a variant on the TARDIS. It can go anywhere.